kind of night. And welcome back. Well, country superstar Luke Bryan is coming back to Summerfest this year. That's right. He's just one of the 800 acts in the 11 day festival. Summerfest started back in 1968 and has now evolved into the world's largest music festival. And it's right here, right here in our own backyard. And it brings together the music industry's hottest stars, emerging talent, and local favorites. And the man in charge of the music <laughs> is Bob Babish. He is the vice president of entertainment at Summerfest. Welcome back to the show. We talked to you last You're year. You're a big deal. Yeah. Had a blast. You are a big deal. Glad to be here. But first, guys, before we start, I have to get my. my what do you have? You, you have your glasses have, on. No, no, I have a gift. No, you I have do? My, 11 day oh, power passes. No way! You okay, are awesome. So explain to people what these are. Well, they're, 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 the sale is over already, actually, but that's an 11 day power pass that gets yeah. people in for all 11 days, and it's a really good bargain. So next it's year, awesome. when we put them on sale again, don't miss out on it. Yeah, it's a great bargain. Do you only do so many, or is it just for a short it's, period of it's, time? A combination of we have so many to give away, and there's a deadline date, whatever okay. comes first. You so know, you're so. giving Tiff and I the power, huh? Every year. The Summerfest power. power. I love it. What a gift. Thanks, Bob. Let's talk about Usher. Okay. Do you want to? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Tell us how it happened that you got Usher. I mean, how amazing is it? Seriously, I mean, the, the one stop he makes all year in mm -hmm. America. In the US. It's Summerfest here in Milwaukee. Well, it's, it, it started last year actually with a different act. It started last year with Bruno Mars. And okay. we were working with an agent for doing a Bruno Mars date. And we couldn't make it work for last Summerfest, so we put it in for this Summerfest. Okay. And we got it all done and we put it on sale and it went out really quick. And he was happy about that. And one of his other clients is Lady Gaga. And he says, well, Lady Gaga wants to do a date a couple of dates not indoors so in a festival outdoor? situation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we said, okay. So we put Lady Gaga on sale and that did well. And he calls up and he says, okay, now Usher, my other client, wants to do one date this summer in America. And he picks up. And he said, you guys, you know, things are great over there. We love that festival. So what do you say we put an Usher date in? Fantastic. So we did awesome. it. And it did. It's turning out great. We're loving it. Wow. Yeah. Molly hasn't stopped talking about it since they announced it. She was like, sick about it. Have yeah. you ever seen him live? No. no. Oh. I have not. It's great. It's just I great. Can't wait. Great dancer, great show. Yeah. Was he a cool uh, guy? Yeah. 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 Right. Hello. He has a we best don't, smile. Know, yeah, we don't meet the artists that much. We're more yeah. interested in meeting the tour managers, the managers, and the agents the because those people. will help you later down the yeah. line. Exactly. Right. Brad Paisley's coming and Darius Rucker's opening for yeah, him. Yeah, that's going to be a great show. It's a great lineup in the amphitheater. I mean, you've got you've got Paisley, you've got Zach Brown, you've got Dave Matthews. We mentioned Gaga already. You mentioned Usher already. Lots I've of great I've seen fans. Dave Matthews before years Many and times, years ago yeah. at Summerfest. He right. puts on a great show at Summerfest. Yes, he does. Um, but, what do you think is special about the Marcus Amphitheater and seeing a show with the big, the big headliners there? Well, I think for, for Marcus especially, it has more reserved seats than any, any other venue in America. I mean, it's got 18,000 reserved seats for an outdoor venue. That. That's really unusual. Is that and including then, the lawn spots? No, there's another 5,000 for lawn above Jeez. that. So you've got wow. 9,000 under cover, 9,000 reserved bleachers above that, and then 5,000 lawns. So Ooh. that's unusual in an yeah. outdoor venue. Yeah, for sure. Is that one of the largest? How does that compare to other well, spots? Well, I mean, there's, there's venues that are bigger, but mm -hmm. usually they'll have nine or 10,000 reserved seats, and the rest is just lawn. So that's June 29th, Outcast with special mm -hmm. guest Gary Clark Jr. How about it. Then One so Republic, great. we used one of their songs right off the top of the show, special guests, um, Meyer Hawthorne, as well as American Authors, yes, right? Yeah. And that's July 1st. That's July 1st. Yeah. And then you run into a big weekend after that, so it's I great. always wonder um, about artists and special requests mm -hmm. that they have behind the scenes. Like, <laughs> they have to have their water chilled for, you know, four hours to such and such. Right. I mean, are a lot of the artists high maintenance? Give us the inside you, scoop. You know, there... It used to be a lot crazier than it is now. Mm -hmm. All the stories you heard in the old days about brown M and M's being yes, taken out—that right. was true. But the and that was that was um, Van Halen. But right. the reason they did it was because they wanted to make sure the promoters were reading the rider. Because sometimes oh. they get into a city and they'd say, you know, I needed this kind of PA, I needed this and that. It wasn't ready, and they go, oh, and we just missed it. So that that'd be their way of vetting the, the people who were they, paying yeah. attention. Sure, mm, knowing they're paying attention. Yeah, but then that then again, and I've seen five pages of wine lists, you know, in, in all. Uh -huh. but, but it's changed in that it's more more of a business now. So you have a lot of macrobiotic meals. You have a, yeah. you know real china, Healthy. real silverware, all that, because you've got 120 people on the road. Some of these acts have 100. You know, some of these acts have 15 trucks and 12 buses mm -hmm. on the road. So you don't want anybody getting sick. It's a big business. So uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know, I, obviously there's all these really big names, but there's a lot of cool smaller names oh, yeah. too, or an upcoming artist that sometimes you see at Summerfest and then they become the next big act. Mm -hmm. I think it it really is a ground uh, for for people to kind of launch their career and get people interested and have right. a huge following. And and that that's part of the whole festival 
theory. Yeah. We try to have a little different genres every day on every stage and new things that people can get a chance to see. I mean, I'm excited this year about a band called The Congos, which I think mm -hmm. are great coming mm -hmm. out. Okay. I'm really excited about a band called The Bleachers, and that features a guy named Jack Antonoff, who's the lead guitar player from the band Fun. And this okay. is his side project, and he's doing a couple of festivals this year. Wow. And he's got a song out now called I Want to Get Better that's got a big pop radio thing going. Do you know when they're, when they're playing? Not off the top of okay. my head. <laughs> Summerfest.com. There's yeah. the website. Right. Summerfest.com. There's a the teaser. The bleachers and the Congos. And the Congos, yeah. Um, you know, it's, I, I remember in sales, you're only as good as your, your last sale. And I feel like with Summerfest, as soon as Summerfest ends 2014, mm -hmm. is it almost like the next day, the day after you're starting to, to book and think about the following? I mean, because right. you're always topping right. yourself and always giving you these, the hot artists, and you're so on top of the music scene yourself. We have five amphitheater shows on hold for next year already. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so wow. I mean, it, can you start, start, no, no, I can't. I'll get in big oh, trouble. Oh, God, come on. Oh, no, Jess would kill me. I can't. <laughs> Nobody's no. watching no, today. No, It'll be fine. Yeah, you no, can whisper it in my ear. I Nobody will hear you. do it. But it, it, it starts earlier every year, and that's a, uh -huh. that's a sign that the business is good, that, yeah. that the business is healthy, because people want to plan ahead, which is great. Okay. Yeah. So people can buy their tickets early. They can do three-day passes. There's all different ways, all different discounts. They should go to summerfest.com. Okay. They can buy tickets online. We recommend that people buy their tickets, their entrance tickets, online and print them Quicker. at home because it makes life a whole lot so easier easy. than waiting in line. Yeah, yeah you don't have to everyone. wait at the gate. All right, well, here's the information. You teased it already. Go to summerfest.com to find out a list of who you're excited to see. And of course, as we promised, Bob brought some tickets to give away as well as that F SF Live Lounge that's private. You can only win tickets to get in this and have an intimate experience with several of the performers. So, caller number 15 right now will win those tickets and the lounge wristbands as well at 414 799 4444. And because Bob is so ultimately cool, he's giving away tickets to see Usher. Which is what? huge, and we're gonna have details about that coming. You're just giving stuff Don't away miss today. It. Don't miss it. I love it. This is Does a this hot include show. Usher? I'm just kidding. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is Usher. <laughs> Thank Darn you it. so much, Bob. No Great problem. to have yeah. you here today. Really appreciate it.